Hello, it's Darren from innovationtraining.org. I have been having so much fun with some of these AI tools like ChatGPT, the Open AI Playground, and I would love to show you a demonstration of how to use some of these really powerful tools for generating ideas, for idea generation. So the first one is uh, ChatGPT. So this is just, as soon as it launched, over a million people got on this. You've probably seen a lot of people showing things on LinkedIn, what they've been doing. And it's part of open AI. So if you want to get on this, you need to um, become a member of open AI. It's free. It's just easy to get started with that. So you would just go to chat.openai.com to be able to access this. And then there's some other tools on open AI that you can use too. So there's this one Dolly that I like. Uh, so you could find that through open AI too. This is about creating images, using AI to create images. And this is pretty interesting too. But there are two main things that I like to do when generating ideas uh, using AI. One is the playground, open AI playground. So let's start here because this is where I got started. And there are different models that you can use, right? GPT-3 is the big one. And this is a really powerful model to use because it uh, allows you to get the ideas, the insights, the writing in more of a human, natural way of communicating. So here's what we can do. So they give you a suggestion, write a tagline for an ice cream shop, right? So I'll, I'll say, write a tagline for a new online course on innovation. And then I'll hit submit. That's kind of my area. Unlock your creative potential. Transform your ideas into innovation. Hey, I like it, right? That's pretty good and pretty instant. So I think this uh, application is a really good thing to do when you're starting uh, an idea generation project, a brainstorming session. You're at the ideation stage of design thinking. Why not just pop in some questions here and make it really quick to get ideas? So here's what I like that is something that I've picked up. So the suggestions in the way we usually think are one question, one idea. So let's try this. Let's try to ask uh, the AI to give us 10 ideas. So I'll say write uh, 10 ideas for a tagline for a new online course on storytelling. So we'll say storytelling. That's another area that I really like. Let's see if it can give us 10. Wow, look at it unfold right before our very eyes, right? So interesting, right? So if you, you review these, there might be some great ones, but incredible, right? You might be with a group around a brainstorming table trying to come up with this. This just gave us 10 pretty good ideas within 30 seconds, I would say, right? So I'll say let's try out write uh, 10 ideas for YouTube video topics on storytelling for business. I'm just, just winging it here, right? Seeing what it comes up with. Seeing if it differs than what we've got here, right? So this is what we're looking at here. Okay. Right, so a, a little bit more custom to business here. And this is what I like is, can it get that specific? Because I think that is the opportunity that we as human beings will need to do is to take the idea that we get here and how do we make it more specific? How do we make it applied to our scenario, our scene and the people that we're trying to design for? So this is incredible. So the big tip here, hey, let's, let's, go, let's go crazy here. Let's see, write 30 ideas for names for a new program on design and creativity. Well, let's try that. Let's say we're coming up with a, a new design program and let's see what it can do. All right, we're up to about 20. All right, so a lot of these are pretty general, right? Creative design journey, but hey, it might spark something. So I think this is the real value of a tool like this for idea generation is it may not give you the idea ready to roll, but it sparks something like, oh, I hadn't thought of this being an academy or a boot camp, right? Or I like the journey metaphor, or a studio, a place. So it gives you directions that you can generate ideas in. So I just think that this is a tool that is a must use tool if you're starting a brainstorming and idea generation project, just because it's gonna spark the connections for you to get more specific, to create more ideas. So now I'll show you the other tool that I really like to use. 
also from OpenAI. So this is the uh, chat GPT, right? So this is chat.openai.com. And it gives you some examples. That's how I learn how to do this, is I see the examples it suggests. I see how other people are doing it, the kinds of questions they're asking, right? So let's try this. So, so describe what a business storytelling program could consist of. So let's say that's what I'm I'm working on is I'm designing a storytelling for business program. Let's see what it it does. You're right. All right. It it thought okay, it's a program designed to teach people in business how to effectively use storytelling to communicate ideas and persuade others. Workshops, seminars, classes. We could have discussions and exercises on identifying key messages, crafting compelling narratives. Right? So okay. Participants get opportunities to practice their storytelling skills and receive feedback from instructors and peers. It aims to help participants develop the skills and confidence they need. Okay, so now I almost know what my object objectives are for this program. And I think that aligns with what I think is important from kind of my own experience and research is the key is helping people build that confidence and become storytellers. So, wow, so this is chat-based. So I might, you know, just keep chatting with this AI like it's a person. So I'm like, okay. So how do you help people become more confident storytellers? So let's see, okay. Well, wow, it's, going, it's going into it, right? So some things that were similar and some things that were different, it's building on it. So this tool is great. So let's see if it can give me a lot of ideas. So I might say, what are, 20 ideas for different uh, types of stories people could tell. Let's see if it can meet that challenge. That's a big one. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay, incredible. So I'm amazed. I'm just amazed at this. Could I come up with 20 ideas for the different kinds of stories? I probably could if I used all my tools and techniques, right, the different connections that I can make to do that researching, but it did it did it in seconds, you know, so that's incredible. And I'd rather just start here and see if there's any here that anything here that's really interesting to me that I might then branch off of for my own ideas, right? Uh, st stories that showcase a company's values or mission in action. I love it. So here we go. We have demonstrated just in minutes this tool being able to come up with uh, kind of the focus for something, for a program, almost like what that service or that program or that product could be like. Uh, it's helped us come up with names and lots of name ideas. It's helped us come up with taglines, maybe even helped us come up with activities, things like that. So, hey, I would love to create a program next about how to use AI uh, to become a better innovator or idea generator or storyteller be fun to have a live workshop where people are together using these tools, creating together. Uh, so let's ask that. How can we use AI or chat GPT to become better storytellers? You know, what is it going to say? No, it can help generate ideas for the stories. We've already learned the story types. It can really help with that. We've seen it, so I believe it. So incredible. So I'm just uh, pretty amazed at this tool uh, and think this is just a great addition to an innovation program, an idea generation project, a brainstorming session. Could be a good thing to use if you're stuck, right? Could be a good thing to do when you just want another opinion that's almost a synthesis of, of all the data out there. And the thing that's the big breakthrough with this GPT-3 model is, as you can tell, the writing is pretty good. It almost looks like a human being is back there writing these things. Uh, I've looked at a lot of other AI models in the past, and they were maybe a good source of directions you could go for your ideas, but you wouldn't use the actual thing that was written. It didn't uh, seem like it was very human. But now, uh, with GPT-3, it is pretty good. And the chat GPT feature here is kind of fun. It's fun to, to just keep going down the thread and keep chatting like it's a, a conversation. So that is a quick overview of you know how to use AI to generate uh, and develop ideas.